described this video as uh, how to avoid the fumbles, uh, by which I mean left hand finger problems uh, when playing a piece of music. It's very easy to fumble a note and this will give you a few tips on how to avoid it. Now, the first thing to say is that practicing your left hand finger patterns and playing the music that you are dealing with uh, is goes without saying uh, you must do that practice but there is more to it than that and um, I want you to consider uh, that it might not be that the left hand is the problem uh, but it's the right hand because bowing errors can lead to fingering errors and it's this that I want to deal with is the rather than the left hand it's the right hand so first of all in fast passages, uh, consider, first of all, uh, the position of the bow that you are using. It will either be on the balance point of the bow, uh, which is about a third the way along from the frog. Uh, and if you are using this part of the bow, uh, this will be for um, making crisp, bouncy bows. <laughs> Or alternatively, uh, for lighter, faster passages, uh, consider using it one third from the tip, round about that position. Um, now, that place is the most efficient uh, for playing quickly. And you can check that you're in the right place um, by making uh, a rectangle which is a four-sided figure making right angles between each side. The bow forms one side of the rectangle, the arm forms another. Then there's a line that goes up to the violin and then down the strings of the violin for, for the fourth side. So roughly speaking, you can see I'm having to move towards the tip. I've got quite long arms. So if I make that, that rectangle, it's going to be roughly that point there, which you can see is about a third uh, from the tip. So uh, that would be a good place to, to uh, play your fast passages. Now, they don't have to be uh, either there or there. It can be any part of the bow. Uh, but it's well worth experimenting to see if the position of the bow is making it harder uh, for you to play uh, the passages that you are trying to do cleanly. So first of all there's uh, the bow position uh, but secondly and perhaps even more important and this applies to uh, either fast or slow passages uh, is when you encounter slurs. Uh, problems with the bowing direction not feeling comfortable with string crossing within a slur and so on uh, can affect the left hand finger. So just to go back to the point that I made right at the beginning is that fumbles with the left hand can be caused by lack of confidence uh, and ability in the right hand, particularly uh, with slurs and with string crossing. So. The next thing is to say how to deal with that um, and as usual scales crop up at this point. Now here's an exercise that you can do uh, which uses a simple one octave scale and first of all play slowly and then speed up when you get confident with it but it's simply to do a, uh, a one octave scale maybe D major, something very simple, but using different bowing patterns. Uh, so the scale, no problem at all. 
but think of some uh, different bowing patterns to put on there. For example, slurred two notes per bow. <laughs> Make sure that you're confident with doing that starting with a down bow and with an up bow. And here's the thing, you will find that as you are crossing the string it will be in a different uh, place on the bow. So first of all, up bow to go from the A to the D string. Now it's starting with an up bow. Down bow going from the A string to the D string. And we're back to where we started. So it takes two octaves to go through the, the whole pattern. So when you're going up, that, that crossing from the D string to the A string is at the beginning of the slur. Second time it will be with an up bow. So all of the different combinations of practice. Now, that doesn't um, sound too difficult, but believe me, it, at speed, it needs to be absolutely accurate. And it's just that sort of thing which will cause the finger fumble uh, in a passage of music. So simply try that, uh, get confident with it, uh, become accurate, and then try different combinations as well. Uh, these can be really mind teasers. So for example, let's try one down bow and then two broken up bows like this. And you'll notice that when I come back to the beginning, uh, this time round, it's an up bow. So it then becomes up, down, down, up down, down, and as with the first example, you'll have different combinations for crossing the strings. So, sounds simple, but believe me, it's not as easy as it sounds. It's a bit of a mind twister when you come to, come to try it out. So, there are lots of different bowing variations that you could try with this. Uh, for example, uh, simply four notes to a bow, uh, and so on. Uh, if you would like to find a study uh, that gives you uh, lots of different variations, I've put a link below this video uh, to one which is a study from Hans Zitz 100 Etudes Opus 32 and it's number, fifth, number 5. <laughs> number five. Uh, it's a free download and it contains 12 different uh, Boeing variations to try out. So, uh, those are my tips for this video to avoid the fumbles. Good luck and happy practice.